What's up guys, Austin Numa here with MotionRay.com and in today's quick tutorial we're going to discuss cleaning your media cache inside Adobe Premiere Pro to free up space on your computer. If you're like me, you edit multiple projects a week which builds up your cache quickly. It's important to maintain this database once in a while with a quick cleaning. With that said, let's go ahead and dive into this process. Now when you first bring a clip into your timeline, you may have noticed the audio waveforms appear. Some areas will play back smoother without having to render. Well these are media cache files in action and they are an incredibly important tool to a smooth editing workflow. And most of the time we don't even realize that they're there. When they are automatically created, they are stored on your local hard drive and used only when needed by Premiere. Removing unused cache can help speed up your computer by freeing up that space. To remove your media cache, click on Premiere Pro in the top left hand corner open preferences and select media cache. On the other hand, you may be a PC user. If you are a PC user, go to edit, preferences, and you'll find media cache. For this tutorial, we'll head back over to the Mac system. And here, we can click the clean unused button under the media cache database to delete old cache files. Now don't worry, if you ever wanna open an old project you may have saved, the cache will repopulate shortly after you open the project again. It will just take a little longer, but your media cache will restore automatically. You can also set a rule to automatically delete cache older than a certain date. I have mine set to delete files after 30 days because I've usually closed out a project by then. But you can also set it to delete your oldest cache when the database exceeds a certain size. I have mine set to 95 gigabytes. Alternatively, you can turn off automatic deletion altogether and delete them yourselves through the clean unused button. If you are going to delete them yourselves, you can find the directory for the file path right here and you can delete each file as you'd like. It should also be noted that you can use the same process to get rid of your cache inside After Effects as well. And that's as simple as it is to manage your media cache inside Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, I suggest checking out some of our other Premiere Pro tutorials right here on MotionArray.com.